Let's draw the Lewis structure for CO3 2 minus. This is the carbonate ion. The first thing we do when we draw Lewis structures, we find the number of valence electrons. So we can go to the periodic table here. Carbon right here, that's in group 14, sometimes called 4A, that has four valence electrons. And then oxygen, that's in group 16, sometimes called 6A, that has six valence electrons. We have three oxygen atoms. This negative two, that means we have two extra negative charges. It's two more electrons. So let's add two more valence electrons there. Add this up, we get a total of 24 valence electrons for the CO3 two minus Lewis structure. So we'll put the least electronegative atom at the center of our Lewis structure. That's gonna be the carbon. So we'll put our carbon right here, and then we'll put three oxygen atoms around it. We have a total of 24 valence electrons for the CO3 two minus Lewis structure. So we're gonna put electrons between atoms and that's gonna form the chemical bond. So we'll form bonds between the carbon and the oxygen atoms. Next, we'll complete the octets on the outside atoms, on the oxygens. That'll look like this. So at this point, we have a total of 24 valence electrons we've used. Each oxygen, that has an octet. The problem is the carbon only has six valence electrons. What we can do is move a pair of electrons from the oxygen here between the carbon and the oxygen. That forms a double bond. The oxygen still has eight, but now the carbon has eight, as do both of these carbons. And we're using only 24 valence electrons. So this is a good Lewis structure for CO3 two minus. If you were to calculate the formal charges, you'd find that the carbon is zero and the double bonded oxygen is zero then the single bonds, they're negative one each, but that makes sense because negative one plus negative one, that's that two minus ionic charge we get up here. So this is the best Lewis structure for the carbonate ion. Because it's an ion, we should put brackets around it and then put a two minus out here to show the charge. Note that we do have resonance. We could have put the double bond here or we could have put it here. It wouldn't be the same thing. In reality, what happens is this double bond is averaged between the three bonds here. Looks like this. So you can see the dotted lines here. They show that that double bond has been averaged across the three carbon oxygen bonds there. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for CO3 2 minus the carbonate ion. Thanks for watching.